Hey everyone, Cheryl from Tinker's Cart Art again, popping in to do a quick, maybe not so quick, live um, painting for the ceramic truck. I know lots of you painted the ceramic truck with me at Christmas time with the tree in the back. And it's such a huge hit. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do something for Valentine's Day? So I've got the little truck here. It's without the tree because we're gonna put some hearts in the uh, bed when we get finished. So I'm gonna paint it up kind of valentines -y. And if we have time, I'm gonna paint the little camper that goes with it, which is kind of cool. The camper lights up. It comes with a little light kit and a little light bulb. Does not have all the little Christmas tree lights in, but it, um, it does light up, which is cool. The truck does not light up, but like I said, we're gonna put some interesting things in the bed of the truck. You could also put candy hearts, little bags of, um, Valentine's candy, it would be kind of cute. So um, I thought it would be fun just to paint it tonight. I have been wanting to do this and it's kind of fun to paint with you guys and I'm not painting by myself. So thank you for joining and popping in and um, we're gonna get started. I'll show you how I'm doing all this. If you have any, any questions or comments or whatnot, just put them in, um, in the comments and then I'll see them as we go and I'll answer them. And you can always send me a private message if you have some questions or concerns. I will have some of these trucks and campers for sale with little paint kits if you need it. And you can just inquire uh, by a message or a comment and I'll, and I'll let you know what the pricing will be on that and whatnot. So I wanna jump right in. My ceramics, I usually, I know it looks weird. I paint them all black to begin with because then when you dry brush your colors on, you've got all this cool uh, dark creases. You don't have to go and paint every little area in detail. You'll see how, how we can paint it kind of quick. It'll be fun. I use acrylic paints and thus there's no firing afterwards. If you'd like a shiny finish, you can spray um, like a Mod Podge, you know, a high gloss spray if you want it real shiny like, like a glaze would look. With these vintagey trucks, I really like, um, I like kind of a satin uh, worn out finish. So I don't usually put anything on my truck uh, as for a finish, but you can decide whatever you like to do. So I'm gonna put this down a little bit so you can see more of what I'm working on. I'm using just acrylic paints and there's only a few colors we're gonna use here. And I know I've mentioned before with our paint nights and things, any kind of little acrylic paint will work. This is the Deco Art Americana, which I like, but any brand, I just use a variety, whatever I happen to have on hand. I'm going to start with the dry brush technique so you can see how that works on this truck. I work pretty quickly and maybe need a couple of coats, but wait till you see how much fun this is. I just go every which way putting on that paint. I'm not being careful. I'm not taking my time. I'll go a little bit around the windows, but if we hit it, don't worry. We're going to paint a little bit of light blue in our windows afterwards. So if you guys are joining me, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know where you're from. If you like to paint ceramics, if you like to paint canvas, I'd love to uh, hear what you guys are up to. I know a lot of people joined me last night for the canvas painting of the snowy owl, and that was a lot of fun. I, I'm enjoying seeing everyone's pictures of the project. And if you'd like, you can follow my page, Tinker's Cart Art. Also have a YouTube channel. All of the videos that I do are always posted on Facebook, but they're also uploaded to YouTube as well. You can watch them at any time you want. Lots of classes I will schedule ahead and you can paint along with me. And other times I just pop on and see who wants to paint. And can you see how quick and easy this little truck is gonna be? I like the red. My little Christmas truck, I didn't paint in the red. I painted it in the teal. So the red's kind of fun. If you have trouble seeing me or the view's not right or whatnot, please just let me know. Just throw it in the comments. Hey, Becky, you're going to be like me. You're going to want to paint everything. <laughs> I've been wanting to paint this for a while, but now that we're getting closer to Valentine's Day, I figured, geez, I better, I better get going and get it finished. I need something to put on my mantle. I don't have much for Valentine's decorations. Oh. 
We did a lot of ceramics at Christmas, as you can imagine, the Christmas trees, everybody loves those. They're so vintagey. Everybody remembers them from their mom and their grandmother. I know you had probably heard me say before, but I grew up in a ceramic shop. My mother had a ceramic shop. We had it at the house. We had molds being poured and things being fired all the time. The Christmas trees were huge. Of course, back in the day, lots of things. The planters, remember all the planters? Everyone painted in the ashtrays and whatnot. Of course, these trucks weren't a thing then, but... Um, yeah, Becky, you did. It. That was fun. Um, I thought it would be fun to do this Valentine's one, and I think I might do a St. Patrick's Day one too. Same little truck. We'll paint it in greens. We'll get some shamrocks to put in the bed, and that would be, or even gold coins would be fun for a for a St. Patrick's Day truck. Yeah. And sometimes you need a few coats and sometimes not. I like the rustic look of this. I may add a little pink tint, pink, pink tint to it since it is Valentine's. But um, I don't know if you've seen on the page, I have a lot of kids kits for ceramics. They come with everything you need. They get brushes, a palette, um, all your paints, the little bisque pieces. They're fun for the kids to do. I know we are always looking these days for, for things for the kids to keep them busy. I know with all the Zoom learning and everything, they are on the computer a long time. So being able to craft or paint, I think is important. Important for all of us and all of our well-being. You guys are great to, for popping in and, and watching me paint on a Monday night. And I will try, I'm just painting the bed of the truck. I'm just doing a little rough coat. And you can see I'm not going all in one direction. I don't want the look of, of, of that. It, it would look a little streaky. If you do all these little kind of cross hat strokes, that sort of prevents you from looking like you've gone all in one direction and showing all those streaks. And you can see because of the base coating underneath, I'm not having to worry about hitting all the little ins and outs in, in the in the different parts of the ceramic piece. I also sometimes would do a base coat in a different color. You could do kind of a brown antique color with a pink on it. That would be kind of cool. Just experiment. I always, with most of my ceramics, do a dry brush technique rather than painting it all in with multiple coats of paint and trying to get every little bit. I like the rough and ready look of this. Never mind that it goes a little faster too. If anyone has any questions, pop them in the comments. I can monitor those as we go. A little multitasking. The little gnome ceramic gnomes have been very popular. Actually, you know what? There's a cute little ceramic gnome only about this big, cute sitting in the bed of the truck maybe. that That's something I'll have to think about. Okay, so I got a little coat of the red on there. I'm going to work on the camper, I think, at the same time, if you don't mind, because I'm dying to see this as a little set. I am envisioning the bottom half of this camper red, the top white. Maybe we'll do silver for the roof. I'm painting a little quickly tonight. I will go back and refine in a little bit, but I wanted you to get the idea of what it's gonna look like and see what you think. I think I'll put a heart on the door of the truck or some writing. If we could do some writing on the camper door. Love lives here. That's kind of fun. That may be what I put on there. I'm just not sure. All sorts of things. So you can see I'm, there isn't a line really to separate where I'm painting. I'm just kind of going halfway down and just make kind of to the window. So that would be a good guide. Just go to the window. These little windows are cut out so that the light will shine through when you plug this in. Oh, Becky, you know what? I am working out the price now. I'll message you later or tomorrow. I'm just kind of figuring it out. I have some of them in stock. I have more coming. I just wanted to get an idea what kind of interest we would have in them. You could buy one piece, just the truck. A lot of times people might just want the truck, but the camper's kind of fun for those of you that camp. Do we have any campers watching tonight? I'm, I'm a summer camper up in Maine and uh, absolutely love it and love anything camper related. 
And we do classes up there in, in my campground. And this might be a good one. I don't know if anybody is watching from Sea View, but this might be a good project to do this summer. So you can see I'm just doing the halfway point. I am not worrying too much. If I hit something else when I do the next coat and I paint this silver, I'll just kind of touch up the little red where I might have. There, that's all I need to do on that part right there. So what I do is I love to start dark and work lighter. I do that with a lot of my paintings, even on a canvas sometimes. So I'm going to put another coat on here, kind of light. I'm not going to go into all of the areas I hit at first. I'm just going to do mostly the raised areas. So if I do a little quick coat on the top of the um, hood there, a little something on the top of the wheel wells. I like it when it's a little darker in the creases. I'm going to hit the roof. That's the part we're going to see the most. So we're going to hit that. And this would be really nice in a pink, too. It doesn't have to be red. Pink would be nice. I, I may highlight a little with pink just because it's Valentine's. Maybe if it was a Christmas truck, I probably wouldn't. But this is a good technique to do your Christmas truck, too, if you like the red truck, the little red truck that people love. And even though this doesn't have the Christmas tree, it would be a cute Christmas um, truck. I think it would be cute with some little wrapped, take a little, some little tiny wrapped packages and put them in there. Or, you know, what a great idea might be is do the truck red. You could use it for a lot of the seasons without doing any embellishment that's strictly Christmas or Valentine's. You could just rotate what you put in the bed to coordinate with the holiday. Hey, Linda, thanks for joining. I will have these trucks and the campers available for you alone or in a paint kit. If you need brushes and paints in the whole nine yards, I'd be happy to supply that. All my paint kits will come with a QR code that brings you right back to this video, which you can watch anytime. And I just haven't done the pricing on them, but I will do that tonight or tomorrow. So if you are interested, just send me a private message and I will respond tomorrow with um, the pricing on them. I usually deliver if you're local. You can certainly pick up. And for a little charge, whatever it costs to ship, I'm happy to ship them to you too. So that's all I'm doing for the uh, for the red. I might put a little touch of pink for a highlight. I'm going to let it dry first. So it is important when you're painting your pieces to let them dry before you put your second coat on. If you put your second coat on while the first one is wet, you're really just going backwards. You're taking off the paint you already put on. So give it a minute. I have to say the ceramic pieces dry fairly fast. I know last night with our canvas painting, it was taking a little while to dry. If you are in a hurry, you could always hit it with the heat gun or your um, hair dryer. But I have found that this is drying really well tonight. So anybody who's just joined in, I'm doing a little camper as well, just because I need a little something for my mantle. The kits will be with just the truck or the truck and camper. So Glenda, um, yeah, you could get just the truck if you want to. And thank you guys for watching. It is, it's kind of fun for me to have somebody to talk to while I'm painting. Okay, so that's that for the camper. Let me move it over here a little bit. So while I'm waiting for that red to dry, I'm gonna just put a little color into the windows. Um, I should mention brushes. You can use all sorts of brushes, whatever you might have. I do like the white bristle brushes uh, for the dry brushing. They're a little stiffer than an acrylic brush, and they do a nice job like that. It's not to say you can't use your acrylic brushes. It would work too. So whatever you might have, I'm going to use a variety of rounds and flats tonight. They're acrylic. They're inexpensive brushes. Like I always say, if you take care of them and wash them out after painting, you a little soap and water, they will last a long time. Okay, so paint. And like, again, I'm just using my just regular acrylics. I like to do the windows in a light blue more than just the white. And again, the technique is really just dry brushing it on there. Can you see when I say dry brushing, it means I have just a little bit of paint on my brush. I put the paint on my brush and then I just dry dry it off a little bit so I have just a little paint on there. No worries if you put too much and you get a glob or whatnot. You could just go right back over with your black 
if you needed to. The good thing about this with the acrylics is you can touch up anything. I will go back probably later and just get a little line closer around the windows. You'll see the little line which you could do in silver or just in the red. But I don't, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea what it's going to look like and how to do it. You can always spend as much time on some of the little details afterwards as you would like. Oh, here's a funny story. One of my paint nights, we did the trees uh, and truck at Christmas time. And we had a husband and wife team. And she painted the truck beautifully and a beautiful wreath on the side and the name and, and all the all the things. And then the husband took over and he painted the bottom. He painted the drivetrain. He painted all the bits and pieces underneath. It was the funniest thing. And it really was kind of cool. So that was fun. That was kind of a couple's paint night, if you will. These might be fun, too, if you have a family or a small get-together. Or even if you painted with your friends by Zoom. You could all do your own truck and uh, have a nice little memory. You could date it on the bottom, whatnot. Okay, would Pat? Yeah, it would make a great night light for a camper. The camper by itself is a piece. I mean, you could do that all sorts of of different uh, ways. But I am going to pair it with this. I think it'll be fun. Okay, so it's just the little windows, very loosely painted in the light blue. And my camper, I think I'm going to do the same thing. There's just a few little windows here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, you can kind of see, I'm just kind of doing this. I think I'll give them a little white highlight, a little shine afterwards. You will feel free to do them any way you want. The great thing about painting like this is you gotta use your imagination, make it, your, make it yours. They all looked like mine or all the same. It looked like they came out of a factory. That's no fun. Do I have any campers watching tonight? Just let me know. Let me know where you're watching from, too. I found it fascinating last night's class that we had people in in Wisconsin and in Kansas and, and right here down the street. So it's really fun for me to see where you're all from. I have lots of good ideas for classes planned and things to paint. I would welcome your suggestions but i think we'll do eventually in the spring some watercolor classes if anyone's interesting interested <laughs> if anyone's interested in sketching i'm quite a sketcher i sketch pretty much everywhere i go and if you happen to be on skillshare which is an amazing platform a learning platform for classes i do have a class on there on travel sketching it couldn't be couldn't be a better uh memento or souvenir to bring home than your own little sketches and you don't have to know how to draw or, or you know be really good at art it's just a little book it's just a, some little sketches hey lisa yes i know you're a camper and i saw your new camper and it's gorgeous All right, mine is not is well that's pretty good size but it's not it's stationary so sometimes i wish we could kind of go around like you guys do um but it's kind of nice to be right on the beach with all my stuff there so a little bit of blue on those windows. I'm going to add some white. I'm not even going to rinse my brush. I'm just going to wipe it off on the paper towel. Take a little white, a couple of little streaks. I just kind of a couple of diagonal little streaks. Make it look like there's a little shine in the window. Now, if you don't care for this look the way I dry brush over the dark, no worries. You could do what I'm doing, but just put two or three coats on and get more solid coverage if you'd like. I just like the vintage -y, antique -y look. And depending on what color you base coat in, you'd have a different look altogether. A brown with a pink over it might be nice. So that's the fun. The fun part is experimenting. If you guys uh, have any questions of what I'm doing, let me know. But it's pretty, pretty cut and dry, pretty easy to see, just those little highlights. So that looks a little strong. It doesn't look so strong in person, but it looks a little strong on camera. And if that's the case and you want to fix it, you just take more of your blue and just kind of brush over it. You can go back and forth. You can fix anything, change anything you like. I'm going to brush the white on the top of my camper now just to get that done. And then we can go in for some of the detailing. You guys are going to be surprised at how quickly this project really does go. I'm going to get a different brush here for that. All right. So same thing. I take the paint on my palette. I wipe off some so I can get the dry brush look. And I'm going to just do the top bits. 
Not sure if you can see, there's like a little detailing line across. I may go back later and do that in something else. You could make these pretty fancy. These little vintage campers were cute with the little stripe along the side here, which I will put in. But like I said, later on, you could go back and put as much detailing on as you like. Oh, Denise, yeah, I'm at Sea View right up the street, the Sea View on Route 1. The Agunquit Farms is a, is a nice spot, though. And did you go to my class? You went to my class when we were there. That's right. We talked about that when we did the paint night. Yeah, we should do that again this summer. I did have um, a couple of classes this summer, very small, but mostly everything is virtual now, which is okay. I do miss my people, but it's okay to, um, we can, at least we can get together and paint, whether it's virtual or or in person. And let's hope for the best this year and see see what happens. All right. And I just put my white brush into the red paint. So let's get another one. There we go. I think it's a little bit too streaky, so I'm going to go a little heavier. I kind of want a little bit more coverage. I had no idea what I was doing when I started tonight. I really have a little vision in my head, but didn't really plan it out. So we'll see what happens and how it comes out. How was your campground this summer, Denise? I felt bad at ours for our Canadian neighbors who didn't get to come down at all. Um, that was a shame. My next door neighbors are from were from Canada, and it was sad to see that they couldn't even get down. Lisa, when are you going to be out camping next? Are you um, out in the winter at all, or do you wait till spring now? Lisa's my cousin who lives in Ohio. Okay, you can sort of see what I'm doing there. I'm just getting that, getting that a little co more coverage, but still leaving that black showing through. I do like that look. I just needed the white needed a little more. I think I'll do a pink door because it's Valentine's. I need pinks. I'm not a pink girl at all, but I think we'll do a little pink there. And I think I'm going to do silver on the roof just because. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing true to the colors of the camper. I think I might uh, wait this little piece on the top where I'm holding it by. I might wait because it might look good pink too. So let's just, while I have white, I'm going to quickly do the little white walls in the, in the tire. I'm not going to be fussy because the middle hubcap will be silver. And if I hit it with the white, it's going to um, be covered anyways. And if I hit the black part, it's an easy fix for that. Although, you know what? My eyesight is failing, so I need readers from my readers to get the detail, which is crazy, which kind of happened overnight. You guys know you guys know the feeling, right? We are a certain age now, and all of a sudden our glasses need glasses. You're home now. Good. Oh, that's great. We was we will start here, Lisa, um, like Mother's Day weekend. Cannot wait. Can't come fast enough. Okay. Did a quick little white wall. See how messy that is? Do not worry about messy. We're going to touch it up. It's easier just to get it in there and just kind of take the brush and scooch around with the black. Any other suggestions for the truck for different seasons? I could picture it as uh, Easter with eggs in the bed too. See what I've started? All right, so I'm going to do those little uh, white walls on this these tires as well. I'm probably going to do the headlights. And I'm using just a little tiny flat brush here. So take a look at the page as well if you're interested in some ceramic kits, some little kits, some little pieces, some things for the kids. I have some really cool wooden cutouts that I'm going to be putting together. I had a few kits, sharks for the boys, and I have unicorns, and I have mermaids, and they're just little wood cutouts 
and they come with all the colors and they're actually actually uh, lightly uh, etched in uh, for the eyes and the in the little different parts of the piece which make it nice for the for the kids nice for me too there's a little this tiniest ridge you'd hardly know it's there but as you're painting it sort of guides your uh, brush right along into the right area some really cute new pieces there so we'll we'll have some things to look forward to Lisa, where do you guys like to camp? Are you always going different places? I would like some time to get like a little motorhome and hit all the national parks I have on my bucket list. Okay, so I'm just quickly getting some little white walls in there. I'm going to do the middle of my headlights because that would be white. There'll be silver around. But let's just kind of get that in there for now. I don't mind hit, hitting where the silver is. The silver will cover that very easily. Okay. And while we're thinking about lights, I'm going to just do the back. I should have done it when I did the red tr the truck part. Um, actually, you know what I may do? I am going to just do it with the brush I had before. Uh, all red because I think I'll go in with like a pink to do the middle which ordinarily would be red But it's our truck and we can use our imagination and do it any way we like because we are the boss of ourselves And we can paint what we want. Okay, let me rinse this off to get uh, a brush for the pink And I'm wondering if I want to put a little pink highlight on the red Part of me wants to leave it, part of me doesn't. So what I'm going to do is put a little on, and if we don't like it, we just paint over it with the red. I can, you guys can tell me what you think. Yeah, Denise, I'm on CVU on Route 1. I have been there, let's see, since my son was 2, and he's 30 now. So we've been going up there a long, long time. Really love it. It's, like a little, it's, our, own, it's our little summer family. I think your yeah, Gunkwood Farms is, is fairly new, is it not? Um how long have you guys been going up there? Oh, Indiana. Oh, fun. L Lisa, you go to all kinds of cool places because we're, we're in different parts of the country. It's it's interesting to see where um, where you guys are camping too. I, I kind of like this. It's very light. It's not it's not um, too bright. I don't know. What do you think? I kind of like it. If it wasn't Valentine's-y, I would not care for it as much, but I think I'm going to just very lightly, I'm not painting the whole thing, very lightly, I'm just hitting here and there. It, it, it's helping, it's making it Valentine's Day, so we're gonna go with it. Still gonna paint maybe Pink Heart on the door and I think it'll still show up, but. And actually, as it's drying, it's sort of fading in a bit, so that's good, that's gonna work for us. What do you think, what do you guys think of the pink? And as I told you, I just take a little of the paint on my brush. I wipe some off. And then I go and hit the truck lightly. I'd rather go lightly a couple of coats than a big glob of paint and have it, um, not that you can't fix it, but it just would look just too much, too thick. You don't want to do that. Have a big, a little bit on the sides here and there. So glad to be able to finally paint this tonight. It's been on my mind. I've been wanting to do it for about a month. I just had the vision in my head. And so nice to be able to paint with you guys and have a little chat at the same time. So I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the pink too. It could be cute as just a pink truck, but I like the red base. I, I maybe didn't mention when I paint the ceramics or like I said, anything canvas and whatnot too, I'd rather start dark and make a lighter and lighter and lighter coat and build up to what I want. It gives you so much more dimension. It's kind of a neat look rather than just going on and painting it all red or all pink. So that's that. Not worrying about the bed of the truck because we'll have stuff in there. Let's give it a little bit of pink on our little camper here. Now you could get fancy afterwards if you wanted that little ridge that I showed you going around the edge. That would be kind of cool painted pink. I might show you that after. I won't do the whole thing, but I will... Um, get it started so you can see if you like it or not. When they're all done, I'll put all the little detailing on afterwards and I'll post some pictures of the finished product with some nice close-up um, photos so you can actually see 
it up close. And if you want to paint one, you have that to go by. Like I said, I usually in the kits will include what you need and also a little QR code to back to the video. Let me know if you can see. All right, I kind of um, want, rather have you see what I'm doing than, than look at me. Two thousand and five, and oh yeah, so you you um obviously love it as well. It was a beautiful campground, the what I saw of it that night. And you're in a nice location, right close to a gunkwit there. Our favorite place didn't open this summer, Hooks. Do you guys ever go over to Hooks? I enjoy that place for their happy hour and their music. Missed them this summer. All right, so what do you think? I got some pink on there. My laptop is pretty wonky these days as far as the color goes. I have to go to the uh, Genius Bar. So I hope it looks okay. On my end, it looks kind of weird, but there we are. So I'm going to go with some silver next. And I'm just going to clean this brush. I'm trying to clean my brushes as I go. Again, I don't want the paint to dry up in the ferrule and then on the brush because it's then they get all wonky and their hair's flying all over the place. It's like bad hair day. If you have brushes like that that have had a bad hair day, hot, hot, hot water. Run them under really hot water and then reshape them. And you, and you can save some brushes that way. So I've got just a silver metallic paint here. Again, it's just acrylic. And the grill gets a little coat of um, silver in the bumper. So we'll start here, for instance. The same technique. Again, I'm not outlining and filling in every little bit, although that's a little boo-boo because that should be red and not silver. I get as close to the edge as I can, but I'm not really conscious of being, you know, right on the edge. What's good about the black underpainting is you can go back with a little black and touch anything up, and black covers everything, so you're... You're good to go there. So you can see there's little ridges, say, in the grill there. You don't want to go so heavy as you're filling them in. That's why the dry brush technique works nice, because look, you can just hit the tops, and you keep that detail in there, which is cool, without trying, without painting little black lines. Pretty cool. So experiment with the dry brushing on anything that's dimensional, like the ceramics. I will do silver around the headlights, but I will come back with a smaller brush for that. I am going to do silver on the hubcaps. You can use a small brush. Feel free to use the brush you're comfortable with. If you want to use a smaller brush and get in there a little better, you can. I didn't worry too much because of the um, because of the curve of the hubcap and the detail of the tire. My brush really isn't going in there, and it's not going into the white area. It's sort of being held right out, making that nice circle. And, oh, I think little hearts in the middle of the hubcaps might be cute or maybe too much. I'm not sure. What do you think? Oh, Gogo. Yeah, 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 of course. Gogo was, he even, um, sometimes it was at Litchfields, I believe. Seen him quite a bit around. I don't think he was around last year or the year before. I think, well, there was no travel this summer, which, so he was probably home at that point. Yeah, I, I, I look forward to hooks again. Just so it's just like a summertime staple. It's just sitting outside listening to music. What could be better? Okay, there's my hubcaps. Like I said, I have a few details. Oh, you know what? The step side. Let's do these little step side bits in the silver as well. And you can see how I've got red there from when I was so messily painting the rest, but now I'm covering it with the silver. So problem solved. It's perfect now. The little silver around the windows maybe too. So let me finish this up and then we'll address that. I'm picking up some more ceramic pieces tomorrow. So there's a new gnome that's pretty cute. Um, I forget what, oh, what else, but uh, I'll show you them when I get them. Okay, let that go. And I'm going to do, actually I'm gonna do the roof silver in this. I know it's not an Airstream, but it might be kind of cool. And this little, uh, propane tank and the little hitch I'm going to do in silver. Hey, mom, <laughs> babe, I gotta you gotta send me pictures of your paintings. <laughs> 
Litchfield, yes. Pitchfield, that's funny, it's autocorrect. Yes, it was at Litchfield um, a bit this summer, so that was good. Sometimes when I had my painting classes and I would be hungry afterwards because I hadn't eaten dinner, Litchfield was the good late night place. So I would go down and get their late night menu with the pizza for, I don't know, it was crazy price. And uh, I do love their cheeseburger pizza there. Yeah, gnomes are huge still. Isn't it cool? I remember the gnomes back in the 70s were so big. They were even on the packaging and the in the bags and things for, I don't know, was it Five Lanes maybe? Jordan Marsh, they had the great gnomes all over. That cool gnome book that was out. I do love the gnomes. Okay. Oh, do the little bit of the uh, these hubcaps and that bumper. I've painted some wood gnomes. I have some really cool wood gnomes. I've got to put together some kits um, or paint them so that you can see them. I have the wood if you want to paint one. I just need more hours in the day. That's all. Oh, you know what I saw today online? I've heard of it. I've been thinking about it. I'm not to buy it, but just saying, what does it do? Because it sounded fascinating. Is the Glowforge? Did you guys see that Glowforge laser uh, cutting machine? It's so cool. It does everything. You could engrave things. You can engrave your lap, your Mac, you know, your MacBook. It, you put it in, and it engraves designs all over it. it. Does all kinds of laser printing on wood. It was laser printing on chocolate. It was the coolest thing. I've heard about it, but this was the first time I really saw the um, a video on what it could do. So cool. You know, a fun thing might be uh, paint something cool on the license plate. You can personalize it. Wouldn't it be a great little wedding gift even on the door? You could put the wedding, the couple's name and the date, the year. Be a cute little memento and they could put it out on Valentine's Day and they would forevermore remember that they gave them that cool gift. And there. I think I'm going to do these guys silver too. And that's where the light's going to shine out. That's why it's cut open. You can see the windows are cut open. We can even light it up later if we want. I'll take some pictures too. So. While I had the white out, I should have done the license plate. Let's do that now since we're on the back side here. And then we'll do that silver roof, unless anyone has any suggestions of what they might want to see the roof color. But I think, I like silver, I think would be fine. Oh, Denise, thank you. I am um, <clears throat> usually a little slower and more careful, but <clears throat> I don't want you guys to have to be like watching paint dry. So I appreciate you watching and, uh, and you know, it's kind of nice to have company. There. So it's just a little license plate. We're going to write something on there after. Let's get that roof done. I'm going to get that water, that paintbrush in the water. I'm going to use a, I'm going to use one of my softer acrylic brushes. You can see you can use this technique with it. You have to use a little bit lighter touch. And so I'm taking my silver paint, so you can see me, so some silver. And again, I'm just gonna take some off. But because it's a softer brush, I'm going to just use a lighter touch. And still I'm going to use those crisscrossy strokes. Again, I don't wanna go back and forth and have everyone see all the little lines. So just back and forth. If we need a second coat, because the black is showing through the silver, we can do that, it's easy enough. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to love the camper. Denise, we could even do a camper class um, this summer if we can do classes. That'd be kind of fun. I have Oh, I have some really cute little like wood cutout campers. Really been kind of eyeballing and saving uh, projects I think we can use up at the campground. So we'll have, I'll stop posting those as I see them and we could have a little photo album of camper projects and Maybe people could vote on what they wanted to paint, whatnot. This little handy uh, uh, vent thing on the top is pretty handy for a little handle while I'm painting. I 
I like the way that silver looks on that trailer hitch there in the little propane tank. It's kind of cool. And the front will do it. I'm not going to worry about those little light things because I'm going to just outline them and maybe a pink or a red after. Like I said, we can use our imaginations and paint whatever we want. So you can see it's kind of cool, the silver on the top. And I may later on, if it's dry and I said, oh, geez, it's not covered as much. I do want to go a little darker. We can. So you might see in the pictures that it might look just a little different when I finish up. But I just want to get that on there. So that's kind of nice. The little sides I didn't do of the bumper. Okay. Now you'll see how I touch up the tires. I'm going to take just a smaller brush, a little round, some black paint. and. You can see how I got it a little messy. I am just going to scoot around there with that. I don't know if you can see it. Let's do this again so you can see a little better. Oops. And can you see how you can just kind of glide your brush right around and uh, neaten that up without too much trouble? So there's that one, and again, later on, I I will go back and just touch up some things. I just don't want to do too much to keep it, you know, to keep the video within a, uh, you know, a little better length that so you don't have to be here for hours. And any place I see that needs a touch up, since I have my black paint, I do that. Um, there. And let's just fix the uh, little same thing on the on the truck here. I know I've missed some spots with the black. I'll touch those up now. Some of the tire I, I hit with the red. We'll touch that up. Oh, I didn't even plan this, but look, I've got my Chevy um, uh, sweatshirt on tonight. That's kind of funny. I just realized it. If I had thought about it, I I didn't even think about it, but it's perfect for the for the old truck. I used to have a Chevy. Actually, I had a couple Chevy pickup trucks. I do miss my trucks. I don't miss the gas prices. I mean, the gas, what, what it costs to fill them, but I do miss them. I am a truck girl. Okay. So I'm going to quickly go around these. I don't want to take too much time, but like I said, we can always go back and touch up anything that we like later on. Hey, Glenn. You've never been camping. I think it's, I think it's time you start camping. Maybe this summer you guys could come up to see you and visit. Maybe we can get Uncle David to come up with his camper and we could have a little family getaway. Did you guys paint your Christmas trees? I, didn't, I never checked in with you. And Oh, you know what, Glenn? I have to get something over to you guys. I have something for Crystal, and I haven't gotten it to her, and I need to. So... I will um, get in touch with you guys. If I get over to the Genius Bar with my uh, computer, maybe we can meet at the mall and I can get, give you those things. Texted paintings. Oh, good, Maeve. I can't wait to see them. Oh, tell, send that picture that uh, Craig took of, of you guys both painting. That, that would be fun to see. I did take some uh, screenshots when we were at FaceTiming, and uh, I'll have to see what those look like too. Okay, so just a little quick, like, touching up the white walls. I did forget the silver on my, this bumper. So let's just do that real quick. So there we are with that. I'd love to have some music playing. It seems too quiet. Um, but the problem with that is on Facebook, because of licensing and whatnot, they may just shut your video down if you have music. So I don't dare take the chance. So you guys could all put your Alexa playlists on or whatnot. But I have to be here in silence. Hey, Laurie. I miss you. This is my friend Laurie from high school and middle school and all those years. And I don't know how it's been so many years, and I won't say. But I don't know where the time's gone. I'd love to get together soon and we could maybe paint or something. <laughs> and that's funny. Monet O'Malley, that's perfect. Perfect. You should have seen them painting yesterday. It was great. I can't wait to post the pictures. Okay. 
What would I add to this now? Let's do the silver around there, but with a smaller brush. Can you see how easy this is? Did you think it was going to be so easy? Annie, hi. Oh, boy, I miss you, too. Say hi to Maeve and, and Anne. They're all here. We're having a little paint party. We would, Anne and Maeve and myself, would usually be in Ireland right now for the trade show. And we're not, sadly. We have so many memories coming up on Facebook. I miss it, miss um, being there. Pretty soon we can travel again. Okay, that's all. Those little covers for the lights there. Hi, Kristen. Okay, so that, you can go ahead and add details now to this. So for instance, the little door handle, right? Just a quick little swipe with your silver, not anything big. And you can always do this little thing that separates the two windows in silver there. If you want to, and I'll go back later and do it. I'm not gonna make you sit through um, all that, but I may go back and just do a little silver outline around the windows. You could do that in pink even. Same with the front window. If you wished, you could do a little line around here. Not necessary. I am going to just do the little separator piece here, which could have been red or pink too, whatever you like. I said I was going to dry brush a little pink into our little brake lights there. So it's just a little circle here. Again, you're following the lot, what's there. So it's not like you have to invent and paint a perfect circle. You don't have to, you just paint a little there kind of cute we will add some detailing to the truck too but let's you know what i think i might do let me try to paint a heart i was going to do a heart on the door i think and i'll do it now so we it can dry because sometimes with acrylic you might need two coats and i'm not sure but let's put it on and we can see oh in the little silver bit there i, I didn't do hang on we can paint with two paint brushes now there just a little door handle, not a huge deal. I'm freehanding this heart on. You can trace it on, you could put it on with chalk. You could freehand it because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade, it's made by you. If it was perfect, it would look like a machine made it. We don't want that. So great to see all you guys here. Usually I'm painting by myself and uh, I thought let's hop on and do it, do it together. So it's just one coat with a little heart. I will put another coat on because I really want that to stand out. And again, like I said, you could put all sorts of things. I might just put love on there. But if you had, you know, you could put two first names in a wedding date or a wedding year. The, you know, anything your imagination comes up with. Hugs and kisses, trucks and kisses, whatever you want. I'm going to just let that dry. So now I am going to show you what I'm going to do with our little camper. I am going to, because it's dimensional, it's not like you have to outline it perfectly. It's got these little, uh, I don't know what you'd call them over the window. Little, whatever they are. And you could even, because it's all white, I think we need a little outline on the window there. So I'm going to do one and show you what it looks like. You guys can decide if you like it or it could be silver. It could be red so i just kind of outlined the window in the pink what do you think karen see we were just talking about ireland and there there you are and you're the best part of our memories with our pub crawls gonna miss that but i'll tell you once we get ourselves to dublin we'll do our own private pub crawl how about that i miss seeing you guys i'm glad you're popping in thank you okay same thing Go around all of the tops of your door and your windows, and you could put that little pink accent in. I may even, like I said before, go over this little, let me see that kind of, you can kind of see, right over this whole little edge with pink. I'll do it a little bit here now, but like I said, you can always go back afterwards and, and take your time and do these little details. I'm doing a time lapse of this video too. So if you were going to paint it, you don't really have to sit through all of this again. You could really just watch the time lapse and it would be uh, enough to tell you what you need to do. 
And any colors, you could make this any season or any colors, it does not have to be pink. I'm, like I said, I'm not a pink girl, but I love pink things. I don't like to wear pink, I guess that's the way to put it. Oh, you know, you could add glitter to this too. Glitter makes everything better. Just a quick little edge. I will fix it up a little bit later. It could be red too. I might play around with that. The little door could be just a solid red. So I just want to kind of give you an idea of how we're going about doing this. Hey, Glenn, I'm hoping to do classes this summer. I can't wait to get back to doing classes with the pe with people in person. Ah, uh, let's see. I think I will paint. What color? Any suggestions on the door color? Could be silver too. I'm gonna go with silver. I'm liking the metallic. Let me get a little brush. Again, paint whatever you guys like. I need a little more silver paint. I need beer and paint. There you go. I need wine and paint. Makes makes the painting a little more fun. See what you think of this. And when I outline the window that's on there, there's not there's not much contrast, but if I do it in the pink, I think it's gonna be cool. And the little door knob we can do in pink too or red. I wanted to paint the door on because I do want to paint something on that door too. I'm not sure quite what yet, but uh I wanted to get it on there just to get a little something, something going on. Okay. And I think this little part, we were doing some of the pink. I think this will stay pink here. This little door jam or, I don't know, a little step of what's some sort or another. Okay. I know it looks kind of messy there, but once I do all the trim and all, it's going to have a little better look. It won't be so messy looking. Let me outline that door just so I can see that it's not going to be so messy. There's a little fine line between vintage and messy. So we're going to try to get it vintagey and less messy looking. Wine, yes. I should have wine now. It's I didn't even think of it. I do have I went meant to show this before my cool my cool travel mug. And it's true, right guys? Create something today even if it sucks. So it's in the process. The joy is in the process for me. Just being creative. Using those creative muscles. All righty. Okay. So I've outlined my little door. So you get the idea. You get the gist of it. It's going to all be a little neatened up a little bit for you. Oh, I know what I was going to do, too. I was going to draw, um, draw paint a stripe along there. And I think... Not sure of the color of that. Not sure if just the straight red would be enough. It might. Let's try it. Yeah, it is. It's going to be good. Because these little guys usually had a little stripe separating the top and the bottom color. And I'm doing it kind of quick just so you get the idea. And like I say, I'm going to work on it again a little bit later and uh, finish it up. So a little red stripe across there I think is going to be just the ticket we need. Something like that little accent, you could certainly go ahead and paint a couple of coats if you thought it needed it. I'm eyeballing it. Just to see what you think and see how it looks. That would be kind of cool. And I think I will go ahead and use a red heart on that door to match the stripes. So let's just freehand a heart on there. Start throwing out some suggestions of what we should write on it. We could write something in the heart above it, below it, the heart on the truck door. And also the tailgate is a nice place. If you were doing them like for a couple, you could do the names on the heart and then the date on the, on the, or the last name on the tailgate. I'm not sure how even this is. I don't think it really matters. There, so I'm just putting a little heart on the door. Maybe we'll just write love on it or something. But throw me some suggestions, please. 
So, but I like the silver too, good. The best part is trying, is, is taking a look later at everybody's creations and how different they are. And like last night's painting, I got a picture and it's on the page that, whose was it, Patty's? I forget, maybe Patty's. She put pom-poms on where the snow is, which is so cool because I wouldn't have thought of it. Some people added glitter, which is really cool. I'm going to do a pink little doorknob here. And again, I'm going to do another coat on all these trim lines so the black's not showing through so much. I'm going to neaten it all up. I'm going to write something on the uh, license plate. Let me, I could even plug this in if you want to see what it looks like lit up. It'll be kind of cool. Let me just do that. They come with, the kits come with the, the cord. It has an on and off switch, which is nice. So you don't have to be, you know, plugging it in, pulling the plug. And it comes with a light bulb even. How cool is that? And that just fits in the bottom. And I'm just dying to see it lit up. Let's see. I have it somewhere. And yeah, it has the little switch, which is cool. And you can just, I just pop it in the bottom here. And you can see it lit up. Isn't that cool? And then you'd have your little truck. And I'm going to still paint the hearts, but let me just show you what my envisioned, and you tell me what you like the best. I got these at Michael's. You, like I said, you could put little bags of candy even, little uh, conversation hearts, whatnot. But I found these little styrofoamy hearts um, at Michael's. They're pink and red, and I thought they might be fun just piled in there. Um, you know, that's kind of cool, right? Kind of see them their little hearts? I love that. Now, also, I found these guys, which were fun. And they come in white and pink and um, red, and they're just little felt hearts. So what, I don't know. I, you know, I'm kind of liking these. Now, if we had decided to go really glitzy and glam and did a lot of glitter on here, because I do have paint that's glittery like this, that would be kind of cool with these guys. But I like the, the rustic look of the felt because of the dull finish of the pieces. I don't know. What do you think? Any ideas what you like the best? I like, um, I think I like these, but it would be fun to really glam it out with the, with the glitter and the sparkle. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, move this guy over here and probably touch him up a little bit after the video. And, and like I said, I'll show you the pictures of that all done, but I want to do another coat on the heart here and then let's decide what we're going to write the felt. Yeah, Glenda, I like the felt too. That's probably what I'll go with. And here's the cool thing. its They're not glued in. You could change them up anytime you wanted. Put something in there. Little wooden hearts or, oh gosh, there's all sorts of little things you could think of. So I'm just doing a second coat of those hearts there. And I think I'll just do some writing, maybe just love on there. But again, you can write whatever you like. There. Okay. So what do you think, you guys? Like the little truck and camper together? I do. I'll take a picture of it on my mantle with my other little... I did paint up the little penguin and the, and the love writing, which is kind of fun, and it'll be kind of nice display. Let me answer any questions. If you have any questions about what I'm using, supplies, anything like that, I, I will put together the price for these guys tomorrow. Um, and let you know, but any inquiries, just do it in a private message. That way I can keep track of everything. Sometimes I will go back and look at the comments, but if you say in the comments, I want one, I might miss it. I'd, I'd love it for you just to send me an extra message, uh, an extra message, a private message. Okay. For writing, I always water down my paint when I'm doing some real detail work. I, I just mix a little bit of water in with my paint. Number one, it's been sitting out and the paint's a little thick. I'd rather have the paint more like ink consistency then too thick so that's why i just use a fine just a little just a little liner brush and my white paint with a little bit of get some clean water with a little bit of water added now if you're a little uncomfortable or apprehensive about you know painting it on a paint marker would work you could use a like a posca marker i love those posca brand paint markers they're amazing you could do it with that if you didn't feel comfortable painting it I'm able to watch you on TV. Beautiful mirror. 
<laughs> oh, really? I'm on the TV, Glenda? <laughs> oh, I do have a picture, actually, when um, everyone was painting the ceramic trees at Christmas. I had different groups painting them, and I had a group, a uh, small group, um, and painting the trees. And then here I am in the background on the big TV. I felt like Bob Ross or something. It was kind of crazy, <laughs> but it was it was so cool to see. All right, so these are drying. Like I said, the ceramics are drying pretty quickly, which is great. So I'm just going to, let me just put some writing on there and see what you guys think. Uh, if you want, you could certainly sketch it on. I'm just going to freehand it. It's only four letters, so I think I can handle it. You can read my, my, my painted printing is so much better. You couldn't write my, you wouldn't be able to read my handwriting for, for anything, but uh, I've got a little bit of the hair on there. Right. You could put a second coat on if you wanted it to stand out a little more. But I just thought it would be fun with just love on there. You could get as fancy as you want. You could, you know, put little dots around the heart. A little trick for dots, if you haven't seen me do this before, is just the back end of your brush in your paint. And you can just, I'm just doing, trying to do it so you can see. You can just make little dots. It's a cool way to make perfect little circles. Okay. Thanks, Denise. It's they're, they're, they're not finished quite yet. Did you tell how big the truck is? No. Hang on. I've got a ruler right here. He is. Let's see. Okay. So I think it's a, maybe a teensy bit smaller than our trucks that we did at Christmas. Um, so it is about, let's see, it's about 11 inches long. So it's almost, it's about, yeah, about, a, about 11 inches long, I'd say. And it is, he's about five inches tall. Nope, five, five and a half, five inches tall. And the camper, uh, uh, what I like is the camper is pretty much in, uh, whoops, in, si in the right size for the truck. And that measures with the little, uh, Trailer hitch is about nine inches and about uh, six, and a, six and a half with this tall. So they're a nice size. They're a nice size for a mantle or something, or um, a table display in the center, you know, of your, um, look at this crazy hair, the center of your, you know, your table. It would be kind of cool with maybe something around it, candles and whatnot. I know it's looking super, super messy there, but uh, I think we can uh, touch that up. Um, so that's the size of it. I will price it out tomorrow. Like I said, I can deliver them or we can do pickup or ship if you need to. Um, I could include brushes and paints if you don't have any. We can talk about that. But I just am glad you joined me today so I didn't have to paint alone tonight. And keep an eye out for um, other projects. Follow me on Facebook. And if you would like, private message me your email, and I could certainly add you to my email list. I like to keep an email list going as well, so you really keep keep up. Uh, when I put the videos up on YouTube, I'll send you a link. And, you know, if you're not on Facebook for some reason at any point, you can always still find the videos. So, anyways, I thank you guys for watching. I just kind of pop in sometimes and uh, deliver. And I want to deliver in person. How about that? And he's in, on Long Island. And I was just talking when I drove through the other day from Maven Ann's about um, the ferry and Daryl and I always being late and rushing to the ferry. And we had such great times. So we'll get together soon. Maybe we can uh, do a paint class out there in Long Island. Thanks, Denise. Thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will finish these guys up now and I'll post some pictures tomorrow. So have a great evening. And I will see you next time. Bye.